Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce a reinforcement learning based traffic light control system. Nowadays, people spend too much time on roadway. In the US, traffic congestion costs Americans $124 billion each year. In Europe, the cost of traffic congestion make up 1% of the total GDP. Therefore, people have been making a lot of effort in optimizing the traffic. In modern cities, the most important factor affecting the traffic is the traffic light. How should we control the traffic light? Fixed time control and actuated control are two major categories of the conventional strategies. Fixed time control usually set a fixed time interval for green and red light, while actuated control use predefined rules to determine the time to change the traffic light. However, they all suffer from some problems. We will show the deficiency of the current traffic light control policies in Sumo simulation. A four-way intersection is present here. The yellow triangles represent the vehicles on the road. For simplicity, all the traffic are going straight. On the lower right corner, we show the direction that the green light is current on. The most popular policy is fixed time policy. Here, the green light switches every 15 seconds. When there is only traffic on the vertical direction, the traffic light wastes some time on the idle horizontal direction. When vehicles start to come from the horizontal direction, due to the aggregated vertical traffic, it takes some time for the vertical traffic to clear out. When the traffic becomes even heavier on the horizontal direction, the intersection starts to become congested. Actuated control policy also suffers from problems. When there is only vertical traffic coming, the policy performs well. When there are also vehicles coming in horizontal direction, the policy still works fine, although vehicles start to line up behind the stop line. The policy completely breaks down after the horizontal traffic becomes heavier, because it never lets the vehicles in the vertical direction pass through. In contrast, what will happen if we let an intelligent agent learn from the traffic? When there is no traffic on the other direction, it will only give green light to the incoming traffic. When vehicles come in the other direction, the tra agent will adjust its policies, and we can see the queue length on the new traffic direction is decreasing during the adjusting process. The agent can also deal with the heavier horizontal traffic without letting the vertical traffic wait for a long time. Following this line, we propose a reinforcement learning based traffic light control agent. This agent can learn from the environment and conduct online update. Please kindly refer to our paper or presentation for more detail. Thanks.